you guys. So today's video is going to be a book review on a book that I literally just finished yesterday and that is The Winner's Curse by Marie Ratkowski. Remember I told you I bought this book just because it was pretty? Well I actually read it and I don't know how to feel about this book. My sweater is literally a question mark because that is how I feel today about this book. Um, I think on Goodreads I gave it a 3.5-ish. Um, let me tell you what it's about. Um, it's about this girl named Kestrel who buys a slave named Aaron and it's... <sighs> How do I describe this without giving any... There's not really any spoilers in this book. Her dad, Kestrel's dad, is a general of an army. And they are the Valerians. So it's like... Uh, this is the best way to describe it. The blacks versus the whites, okay? They have the Valerians, who would be the whites. Think back, like, plantation times. When the slaves and the, you know, the plantation owners. That's basically what it's like. So it's the Valerians and the Horeans. I could be saying those two words completely different. But the main part is that you get that the Valerians are like the owners, the white people, and the Hurrians are like the slaves, the black people, okay? So in this book, they have slaves and the Hurrians, like I just said, and Kestrel buys one at an auction in town one day. She wasn't supposed to buy him, but she does. He is, I am assuming he's like 18, 19, 20 years old. I'm not entirely sure, but we do know how old Kestrel is. She is 17 years old. So this whole book is basically about Kestrel and this slave and how they I don't know what to say because she buys Aaron and Arin, A-R-I-N, not sure how to pronounce that, but she buys him so he works at his at her house. He works as a blacksmith. He makes weapons and um, horseshoes and all that kinds of stuff. Someone yesterday, when I was finishing this book, read the back and they were like, you're reading a love story? And I was like, yeah, those are my favorite books. But when I finished it, I was like, it's actually not really a love story. Like, it's about the Valerians and the Horeans fighting, really. It's not much of a love story, as much as I wanted it to be the love story. There's really only like like two parts that you get the little love story -esque. but I just started the second book winner's crime not much of a love story yet I'm literally on just like the third chapter though but I still don't know how to feel about this book I don't know if I like love it or what I just ugh. I've seen many videos about this and one girl said it's very political and I know what she means by that now whenever she said that I did not want to read it because I'm not a very like history person like I don't understand all that war and army and all that stuff I really don't understand it I'm not dumb I just don't get it when she said it's very political I was like I don't want to read that like what's the point of that but then I picked it up and I read it and it is very confusing at times but aside from all the war and stuff and all that it's really good it's actually kind of good so I'm gonna read the whole series it's gonna be three books I think just three the third one comes out this year the winner's kiss so I'm hoping that means that Aaron and Kestrel get together or something because oh it's oh. as much as I don't want them to be together and if you've read this book you know what I mean I want them to be together <laughs> because okay I'll just say this Aaron is very controlling towards the end of the book because something happens and I don't want to give any spoilers away but oh I still want them to be together <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this book but those were all my emotions towards this book it took me a little longer to read because of all the war strategies and words and all that stuff stuff that I had to like reread because I didn't really understand it but it's pretty enough to buy that's why I bought it but then I read it and it was it was good so yeah uh that was my book review that was very rambly and confusing at times but my overall thoughts are I give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads it's not a bad read it's confusing f for those who don't really understand the wars and all those k kinds of things like me like don't ask me any questions about World War One, World War Two, all those wars I don't know shit about those I just know my grandpa was in think World War Two. I don't even know and then I had an uncle okay now I'm going off topic anyways <laughs> I have a friend here she's laughing at me it's not funny anyways go read it I guess it was good it was good enough for me to tell you to go read it okay just it's a little confusing at times, I will give you that. Other than that, I enjoyed 
reading about Kestrel and Aaron. I guess that's how I'll end it. So if you guys liked it, give me a like. Um, comment down below if you've read this and what are your thoughts on it. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! My foot just farted. <laughs> you made a noise. Oh. Why do these people want to play Monopoly uh, so much? Uh, uh. Wonder's dazzling brilliantly, so away we go. It's a festival of fame. Have I not played that song for you yet? No. Oh my god. Next. Okay, <laughs> let's film this first. I'm tearing up. I'm so emotional right now. What is it's a Disney parade. <laughs> What are you gonna do? I think whenever I get back to my room, I'm gonna take a selfie with Ashley and let everybody know <coughs> what she looks like. Oh, I'm like, Ashley, when you get to your room, you're like your dorm room. I'm like, oh, I was confused. I'm like, Ashley's in your room at home? What? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. No. Okay. If I say something funny, try not to laugh. I don't really say things that are funny, but. Okay.